Welcome to the ITU studio here in Kigali, Rwanda, where we're here for the World's Telecommunication Development Conference, WTDC. And I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by the Right Honourable Xavier Bettel, Prime Minister of Luxembourg. Prime Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you, Prime Minister, how has the COVID pandemic changed your view on digital connectivity? We realised, in fact, that uh, imagine the COVID pandemic 20 years ago. Um, no education, no uh, e-health, no homeworking. So really the economy would have been totally locked. I do not remember I, I, from books if already there was a call few, for example, in a lot of European countries before, or even everything close during some days and weeks. So the digital cap possibilities made it possible to do so many different things. It was also, you know, I, I'm someone, I love contacts, so I used, I do not say a company, but I use a lot my phone with my camera on to be able to exchange, to be able to work. I did my cabinets. Imagine I was not able to do my cabinets, um, so I did them also uh, online. So it changed a lot and I was happy that we invested a lot before, uh, so that the infrastructure were, were good, but we still see that um, it's not everywhere the case. How do you think that uh, ITU can help connect us globally? There are different things. The first thing is the ITU and then is also, for example, this is a conference where we work also with UNICEF and other partners to see how we can avoid that in fact what I told you now, what was able in, uh, I was able to organise in my country, is not able in other parts of the world. We said today the phone, and I remind that the ITU at the beginning it was the beep 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 beep, beep telegraph. Today when you hear these noises you think your mic microwave has <laughs> finished the lasagna on. and today it is um, the, the fact that the phone, I think, <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but the phone, it, we use it as less as a phone, we use it to surf, we use to make picture, to listen to music, to, 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 to connect, to date, to, to play, to, to everything, so to look the weather, to look the, the stocks, everything. So um, the fact is that uh, we have to avoid that some parts of the, of the world has not the same possibilities. And I'm still not in connected devices. I'm still here just about the fact with your phone that you you can do your bank transfers from home, uh, you can check registers, you can get educated, you can get a connection with your doctor. So it's difficult to see that still so many billions of people are not connected. Let's talk about uh, your country's contribution. How can Luxembourg help uh, unconnected communities? The fact is we see that uh, nowadays it is complicated, for example, when you have fibre and, and everything. So we can organise so many things through satellites. And uh, we have a company called the uh, SS Société Européenne des Satellites, which is a really big player in satellites, who is able to to offer these possibilities. So um, I spoke also with with some African leaders, and we have to be aware that in those countries we should avoid that just the capital is connected and the rest of the country is not connected. That's what we did. We should not forget that in, I'm not the biggest one, so I know that for me it was less complicated to have a, a bigger coverage than other countries. But if you look at a country like Finland, a long country or Sweden, you know, those long countries, it's, it's more difficult because the private sector doesn't want very much to, to invest if, it's not, uh, if it doesn't bring money. So it is important to to have a coverage where we avoid to have blanc, zone blanche, so the, no coverage zones, but also to avoid um, an, a problem with uh, the age. Uh, I'm in a situation now, I'm able to learn, I know how to use my phone. When I see my nieces, <laughs> they are 10 years old, they, they know even more. They explain me TikTok, they explain me so many different things, but my mom, she didn't know how to do payments, so I showed her it works with QR code. She thought she would do pictures, so it was pain I had to explain it, she had to download, etc, etc. So we still need to educate, and not only young people. Yeah, my mother's the same, actually. I just finally would like to ask you, you've taken the time out of your, I'm sure, incredibly busy schedule to be here in Kigali, in Rwanda, at the ITU WTDC. I wanted to ask, what was the value for you of, of coming here today? The first thing is to say bye-bye to Mrs. Zhao. He was 36 years long uh, participating to, to this, that's the first thing. Then the second thing, also to avoid, because we will be in elections, that we have now a campaign where it will be blocks, will be blocks, one, are you in favor of Ukraine, against Ukraine, that would be a big mistake. We need to work common and uh, to have a common candidate with the goals we need in the communication. 
Um, on the other hand, I, um, I, uh, in Rwanda we have a, a common project and uh, I promised also to Paul Kagame uh, that uh, during my term I would visit him and have elections next year in October, so I don't know how long I, can, I, I had to organize it, but it was in fact the opportunity to have all these different things together, but the ITU is important. It's a, it's a UN agency. And um, imagine we would have this coordination of spectrum and uh, all this, it would be a nightmare. We already discussed just before in meetings with friends about the fact of, of satellites, then in 10 years we might have traffic jams of satellites also. So we need to be able to, to reinvent our telecommunication devices, which changes all the time. Well, thank you very much, Prime Minister, for sharing these valuable insights with us. And hopefully we'll get to catch up again very soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.